Okay, Earth Signs, it's Nicola. So let's see what messages we have. This is for March the 6th and March the 7th. I apologize that these readings are behind. They are behind. Because usually I uh, would have already had these out. But I have a lot of things to do over the next two days. So let's see what messages we have. This is for Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What messages do we have? For Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. March the 6th through March the 7th, 2019. What messages do we have for Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. March the 6th and March the 7th, 2019. All right. Mmm, looky here. Virgo, front and center. You finna get the shock of your life, baby. Virgo, got that tower card there. So there's some shifts here. Some of you guys are burdened here. Maybe worry here. Maybe taking on a lot of burdens. Whew. Four of swords here, retreating, going into yourself. Hierophon here in the, in the surrounding energy. Someone could be within themselves really worried here about some movements here. Some silence. Maybe someone's not talking very much into themselves. Queen of Swords here could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. This is about a relationship, a burden relationship that someone is retreating from. And um, I think you know. It's you know. All right. Or they know. Either they know that you're retreating from them, you're severing the connection moving forward, or you know that someone is making a decision to sever a connection. Um, air woman or air sign. Ten of wands here. Why is this ten of wands here? So there's some burdens here. Why is this ten of wands here? Why is this ten of wands here? Woo. Burden relationship. Ten of wands, ten of cups. Someone understands their value. Not wanting to be emotionally worried emotionally stuck y'all excuse these things y'all know i ain't used to having a lot of hair well not since i have my afro but not like this so it's different but i like it so with the eight of cups here someone's walking away someone's burdened you may be worried that someone's walking away they may be walking away eight of cups here um three of pentacles from a partnership four swords here whatever they're walking away it isn't based off anything solid it's based off of cooperation or working together so someone doesn't want that. Someone wants Ace of Wands, spark, passion. Knight of Pentacles, they don't want responsibilities. Ace of Cups, passion, love. Someone's worried they're within themselves that whatever they've been in has no love, has no passion. It's been stale, stagnant. Someone's removing themselves from something that has been stagnant a long time in their life that has not flourished, making a decision, weighing some options, making a decision on what's best for them. Someone's going within themselves. Inner counsel. Hmm. Well, I'll be higher from here. Taurus here. Why is he higher from here? Maybe this relationship is teaching you. Yeah. Ooh, some of y'all may be worried about taking a leap of faith here. Um, maybe worried about moving towards something new. Aries here, transformation here, emperor here. Someone setting some boundaries to a relationship, worried about taking a leap of faith. Someone in your surrounding energy is, is setting boundaries to the relationship, to a relationship, Ace of Swords, seeing this relationship from the perspective, transforming, and maybe taking a leap of faith, uh, maybe walking away. Someone may be taking a leap of faith, either toward a relationship, transforming, speaking their truth. Someone could be speaking their truths and walking away from a relationship, cutting, you know, using that sword, cutting away illusions within a situation. High Priestess here. Why is this High Priestess here? I think you know, though. I think there's something that you know. It's a change that you may be ready for. Nine of Pentacles here. Hierophant here. Someone gaining their independence. Knight of Cups here. Balancing their emotion, moving in a new direction. This is change. Six of Pentacles. This is change to something that has been that has a lot of time invested into it. There's a change to a situation that has had a lot of time invested in. Either someone knows that they're going into a relationship, Nine of Pentacles, Hierophant, or this is a Taurus that is gaining their independence, Knight of Cups, balancing their emotions. There could be an offer here of commitment, Queen of Wands, that could change, change someone's direction. So someone can make an offer of commitment that could change someone's direction, but I don't think so. For some of you guys, that could be. 
It could be an it could be something within someone's trying to balance their emotions so that they can move in a new, in a new direction. Maybe gain their independence from a relationship. Maybe this is the balance. This is a success moving forward. But for some of you guys, someone's making an offer here, either to a Taurus or an offer of commitment to a fireside. Um, hmm. This is someone feels as though this is a positive resolution to whatever imbalances they have. Queen of Swords here. If someone's making a decision to go toward a more balanced stage or situation. Queen of Swords here. Why is this Queen of Swords here? Why is this Queen of Swords here? Yeah. Yeah. So someone's making a decision to move forward here. Um, getting away from confusion. Really having a, a real desire to move away from confusion. Some of you guys could be moving away from a water sign here. Maybe have had some patience with the situation, but... Maybe you just feel as though it's time to move forward. There could be some confusion about someone. Someone could be confused about moving forward. Someone could be could have been procrastinating Cancerian energy here. They may be speaking their truths and moving forward. So let's see what guidance we have. Ooh, divine passion. Wow, 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 earth signs. First one we got is bold. It says, unleash your adventurous side. Take a risk and be daring. With prosperity, the universe is pouring its abundance out to you. Be open to receiving it. Do not back down. Stand up for what you believe is right and be honest with yourself. What is your heart's true desire? Some of you guys need to understand that your household situation is improved and either through a move or a healthy change in the occupants. A healthy change in the occupants can be yourself and your perspective, especially if you feel like you deserve more than what you've been given. This is all I have, y'all. Peace.